Hi, I'm Paddy Finn and I'm here to demonstrate your first lab which is to verify Ohm's law. Uh, for this we'll be setting up a simple resistive circuit using just one resistor. Um, we'll also be using a power supply, a breadboard to set up our circuit on and a DMM or digital multimeter uh, with which we can measure the voltage, the current and resistance in the circuit. Okay, now to set up the circuit we insert our 1 kilo ohm resistor into the breadboard, as so. In the breadboard, these lines are connected vertically. So this uh, is connected to a line running down here, this is connected to a line running down here. So this means that when we hook in our voltage probe, we can put it in the same line below, and now these two are connected. We then connect our voltage probe to the positive of our power supply and we do the same with zero volts just into the same rail as the resistor and then into the voltage source so we turn on the power supply now pressing the on button now it's set to one volt so to increase the voltage you use your coarse voltage setting which uh, makes large adjustments so you bring that up close to five and then use our fine, fine voltage setting to trim down to five volts Okay, so part four of your lab asks that you use the voltmeter function and the multimeter to measure the voltage dropped across the 1K resistor. So to do this, we use the digital multimeter. So we plug in the positive voltage probe into the uh, voltage and resistance port here. The ground is connected to the common rail here. And we turn on the DMM. So to measure the voltage, we uh, select here VDC, the uh, direct current voltage. So now that's what it's measuring. Now we place the probes on either side of the resistor. The circuit doesn't have to be broken to measure voltage. And now we're measuring the voltage across the resistor, which we see to be 5 volts. Um, as this is the... Uh, as this circuit only has a single resistive element, uh, all the voltage is being crossed, uh, dropped across the resistor, so that's why we see all 5 volts. Okay, now uh, part 5 asks that we measure the current flow through the circuit. Uh, so to do this, we use the digital multimeter again. We change the positive probe from voltage and resistance down here to, uh, to milliamps. We then select IDC, which is the direct current. So now this uh, the DMM is measuring direct current. Um, now to measure current, unlike voltage, uh, where voltage could be measured across the resistor, we now have to break uh, the circuit because we're measuring in between. Um, so we take out one leg of the resistor, into which we connect the negative probe. Now we just wire wrap some wire here on the crocodile clip and connect it here where the leg of the resistor used to be. So now essentially this DMM is in circuit but the, the digital multimeter is posing no resistance so it's not seen as part of the circuit. It can accurately measure um, the actual current that's going through the resistor. Uh, so now we can see here that we have 5 volts we measured on our power supply and this is corresponding to 4.83 milliamps. Okay, so now for part six, we're going to verify Ohm's law, which shows that uh, current will increase linearly as voltage also increases. So to do this, we're going to go in five steps, starting at one volt in the circuit. So we'll bring this down to one volt. So now we have one volt across the resistor and we can see that we have got 0.956 milliamps uh, so basically one milliamp um, flowing through that resistor so now we increase this to two volts and on the digital multimeter we can see that this has increased linearly from one milliamp now to two milliamps again we increase to 3 volts 
and we can see now that the current has also increased linear, linearly to almost 3 milliamps. Again, 4 volts, and the current has increased to 3.92 milliamps. And finally, 5 volts, where we see that the current has increased to just under 5 milliamps.